Let's learn more. Let's learn more. Let's learn more with liberty. What is the one thing that Chef Boyardee and Albert Einstein have in common? They were both immigrants to America. An immigrant is someone who moves away from their home country to a brand new one to start a new life. People from different parts of the world come to America for various reasons, like finding better jobs, staying safe, escaping trouble at home, or simply enjoying the freedom and beauty of this country. Many of you may have a family member who moved to America. Did you know that about 40% of immigrants to America arrived through Ellis Island? Ellis Island is a small island outside of New York City, making it the perfect landing point for immigrants coming to America across the Atlantic Ocean. At Ellis Island, ships carrying immigrants would receive a medical and legal inspection. The legal inspections made sure everyone followed the law as they came to America. Due to the massive crowds, these inspections couldn't last long. They were sometimes called six-second inspections because they were so quick. Medical inspections usually consisted of a quick checkup, and legal inspections were just a couple of questions to make sure the immigrants were telling the truth about why they came to America. Almost everyone passed these checks, and at most, only two out of every 100 new immigrants were held back before entering America. Once the inspection was complete, the immigrants were ready to live their new lives in America. Many found work in farming, mining, or in factories. Others opened their own businesses, worked in construction, or even became celebrities. All of them were eager to pursue the American dream that they had heard such good things about. Not far from Ellis Island stands the Statue of Liberty, a fitting monument to the ideals of America. Many people came to America because our country is a symbol of freedom and hope, and the Statue of Liberty represents those important values. The Statue of Liberty was originally a gift of friendship from the people of France in 1886, and it has become known as a symbol of freedom, democracy, and the American way of life. A democracy is a form of government in which the people have a say in how things are run. Today, the Statue of Liberty continues to stand tall as a symbol of our country's greatness and people from all over the world still come here to find the freedom that only America can provide.